Hello everybody and welcome to my Heirloom Organic Vegetable Garden Series for 2016. Actually, I was just digging away here in the garden and this is my sixth year of vlogging on YouTube uh, on my gardening. I can't believe it. Six years. I, I might actually be up there in the longest running uh, vlog on garden uh, for self-sufficiency anyways. I know there's lots of guys out there, you know, that do gardening videos, but mine is strictly for me, you know, anyways, and to share it with you guys. So. I have been out here in the heat. It's like it was like 36 degrees at one point today in the shade. Absolutely brutal. But I had to get this done because it's it's top priority. It's June the 27th. So what I uh, what I've done. So at this end of the garden, uh, I have got two spots here. I'll just show you there. I, what I did was I just used my uh, pitchfork. Now there's the squash one squash hole, and here's the other squash hole. I didn't plant any corn this year because so I've still got like four bags of corn from last year big bags actually so I'm uh, I'm good on that so I thought no corn this year plus it's too late June 27th I you know we'd have to have a, a good growing season right till October and we get frost uh, you know the beginning of October here so corn is out this late anyways but that's where my uh, my squash and that's my squash that was crossed with the zucchini two years ago so uh, that'll be interesting how that turns out I'm uh, this past winter I ate a ton of it I couldn't believe it. I had I think I froze 87 pounds and I've only got 30 pounds left like I've eaten 57 pounds of squash this winter it's so tasty the way I'm doing it and like I said I just took my pitchfork and I cleaned off a spot uh, a row the width of the pitchfork and then I just took and uh, took the pitchfork and I just turned uh, the, the top two inches of the soil up to loosen it up so that I could use my little uh, uh, tool I have for making a, a rut to put the seeds in so I've got three rows of uh, the velour beans right here and then over here I've got uh, two rows of dragon carrots. I didn't plant any colorful carrots this year because one, I bet you I've got, I think, I six big or seven big bags of, of carrots left from last year, but I really want some dragon carrots. I, I like these guys, they're nice and sweet. So I've got two rows in there. Over here, I've got uh, three rows of yellow beans. Um, and these are, uh, uh, which I think they're the golden wax yellow bean, they're called from the Cottage Gardener. Uh, they're a really tasty bean. Uh, so I've got three rows there and then here I've got two rows of the uh, parsnips which this year I bought brand new parsnip seeds because I found out that parsnips have next to no shelf life so I've got brand new seeds so these two rows here uh, are parsnips and then over here I've got my uh, my well it's one row but you know it's a loop of uh, just the uh, uh, snap peas the uh, green arrow snap peas uh, because I, I had no peas last winter and I'm really craving peas. I love these guys. They're nice and tender. Sweet too. So, And they're brand new pea seeds. So I should have better success because last year I used really old seeds. I think they were like two or three years old. And that's why it's such a failure rate on uh, the uh, germination. Now this end of the garden is going to be green beans. I'm going to put four rows of green beans in. Uh, these green beans are really, they're better than the yellow beans actually. So I'm putting four rows in tomorrow. My body's done for today. So that's it guys, I'm, I'm absolutely wiped. I'm not gonna finish off the garden tonight. I gotta go do my duck chores, but uh, it, it was hard. A lot harder than normally uh, putting seeds in the ground. But the thing is, is that I'm not gonna have any weeding to do this year. I, really, I should have next to nothing. I, actually, I should just be standing back and when they germinate, thin them out so they've got some room uh, and uh, let it grow. So I can't see how weeds are going to grow through. There's like some spots, there's like a foot of straw. And the soil, I couldn't believe how wet it was. The amount of bugs that were in the soil, uh, worms, uh, little tiny grubby things. Like it was just, the soil was so alive. Um, and, and it wasn't packed down hard either. So it's going to be, I think it's going to be really good. I'm excited actually because I think I'm not going to have any work to do this year. It's not the prettiest looking garden but I think uh, it's gonna be probably my most functional garden that I've done yet. I know it's gonna be next to no work. And the work that I'm doing right now, killing myself, putting the uh, seeds in the ground, are uh, my little ducks coming to visit me. I know this is a gardening video, but look at them. They come over to see me as I'm talking. So that's my garden update, guys. I'm gonna finish off the, uh, the beans tomorrow and I'll tag it on the end of this video. And that's uh, what I've been doing here today. My back's killing me now though. Good morning everybody and welcome to my Heirloom Organic Vegetable Garden Series for, I think it's the 28th, yes, it's the 28th today. Um, it's about 6.30 in the morning. 
I've got to uh, finish my garden off. Like I have got no choice. I got to do it like right now. We got some serious rain coming. So I'm going to plant my uh, green beans and I'm going to try to squeeze in another row of uh, parsnips right uh, over there. But I've got to seriously get my act in the gear because uh, <laughs> it's like 90% chance of uh, severe thunder showers. So I got to get this done. Oh, that feels so good. You have no idea, guys, the uh, the relief it is to get my food in the ground. I'm, uh, I was starting to worry. Honestly, you know, I didn't talk about it on the show the last month. You know, ever since I had my medical flare up there uh, at the beginning of the month. But uh, I feel I feel really good. I feel uh, I think this year is going to be probably one of my better gardens, and with little or no work at all, except for the planting was brutal. Now I've got. Uh, these three rows here are my uh, green beans, which are the, uh, they're called the, uh, uh, the bush lake bean. And then I put another row of uh, parsnips in, so I've got three rows of parsnips. I'll recap here, I've got my peas. Uh, they're the snap peas, the green arrow snap peas. Then I've got uh, two rows of uh, parsnips, which I could have put three here, but I was, uh, no, I was a little bit delirious in the heat yesterday. As you can tell, a little bit of space happened in there. Then I've got uh, three rows of yellow beans. And then I've got two rows here of uh, the dragon carrots. And then I've got uh, three rows here of the, uh, the yellow bean. Is it yellow or no, velour. These are the velour bean. And then I've got uh, my uh, two spots here for my, uh, my hybrid uh, squash. Didn't do tomatoes because believe it or not guys, um, I still have, I think about 40 liters of frozen tomatoes. Uh, you know, and I just, I just don't have time to deal with tomatoes. Uh, plus it's too late now to be planting tomatoes. But it's uh, it's good. I'm, I, I got lots of beets uh, in my freezer, beet tops. I'm a little bit low, but uh, I've got lots of beet roots. Um, but also I got, uh, it's too late to plant any rutabaga. It takes too long. So this is basically what I'm going to be pulling off this year for my uh, my food. I forget what else I've got frozen. Lots of, oh yeah, colorful carrots. Like lots. I had such a huge crop last year. So I'm, uh, I'm doing good. I'm, I'm, I, Major relief, guys, getting this into the ground. Now we just stand back and watch it grow. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends and enjoy the show.